So if you have a vehicle and you think you have a bad EVAP charcoal canister, I thought I'd go over some of the symptoms of this, how the charcoal canister works and how you can go about telling if it is bad. And so what are some symptoms of a bad EVAP charcoal canister? Well, first of all, the check engine light can come on. Sometimes there's a gas smell inside the vehicle. If you're filling up the gas tank and the fuel pump keeps clicking off, then that's a common symptom. You might get poor engine performance, you might get poor fuel economy, and you're likely gonna fail an emissions test. And so first of all, what is the EVAP system and what is a charcoal canister? Well, basically the EVAP system takes all the gas vapors from the gas tank and sends them back up to the engine to get burnt off. And the basics of how the EVAP system works is you're gonna have a hose, it's gonna leave the gas tank so the gas vapors can travel out. They're gonna go over to the charcoal canister, which basically just holds the gas vapors until they can be sent to the engine to get burnt off. The charcoal canister leaves like storage for the vapors and either on or somewhere near the charcoal canister is going to be what's called a vent valve. It's basically outside air and the onboard computer can open or shut it depending on what it wants to do. It, it can use the vent valve to test the system and things like this. And then a hose is going to leave the charcoal canister. It's going to go up to the top of the engine and up at the top of the engine is what's called a purge valve. And this basically opens when the engine's running to send gas vapors into the engine to get burnt off. And then it closes when the engine's not running so they don't escape. And the vapor charcoal canister contains a whole bunch of activated carbon pellets that can absorb and filter the gas vapors. And the basics of what's going on inside the charcoal canister is that inside of here is all those pellets and there's a divider right inside the center and at the bottom is an opening and the gas vapors come in on one side from the gas tank. They go down and then they flow around the bottom and they flow up and they go over to the engine purge valve and when that purge valve is open they get burnt off in the engine. There's also this vent valve which is basically outside air and that vent valve is normally open. The computer will shut it at certain times to test the system or different things like this but normally that vent valve is open. This vent valve is a common problem inside of charcoal canisters if this vent valve goes bad and it gets stuck shut or if it gets clogged up sometimes they get clogged up by mud or something like that when you go to fill up the gas tank all the gas vapors aren't going to have any place to go because the engine's not running they can't go out this way and normally they would filter through and go out that vent valve to the outside but if it's clogged or if it's stuck shut then that fuel pump will keep clicking off so if you do have that problem, first thing to go and check is check out that vent valve. And that vent valve is just a small little solenoid that opens or shuts when the computer tells it to. And so how can you go about troubleshooting the charcoal canister? Well, first of all, it's a good idea to scan for any error codes that might be on the computer because if there is an issue with that charcoal canister, then very likely you can have OBD2 error codes. For example, if you got a P0455 code, then that often points to a problem with the charcoal canister. You can also test that vent valve and be sure that it's opening and closing correctly. Also be sure there's no blockage going on. There's no mud or grime or blocked up ports so that the air can flow in and out. And another common problem with these charcoal canisters is that they start to leak. And if there's a leak inside of the system, then that can cause issues. And so you can go around and try to see if you can't spot a leak or anything going on but sometimes that could be fairly difficult to do if you do think you got a leak the best method to use is to use a smoke machine and you basically feed smoke into the evap system and if any smoke comes out then you know you got a leak this is a very common method but that would be the next thing to go and look for is to check to see if any of these hoses are leaking or if there's any cracks or anything going on that's causing a leak which will cause an issue if there is and another thing that could be checked is the wiring. It could be checked for any damage or anything like this, bad connections. Basically, if there's anything wrong with that wiring, then it could cause the same symptoms as a bad charcoal canister. And so always be sure to check out that wiring and be sure it looks good. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to go over some of the symptoms of a bad EVAP charcoal canister and how you go about testing it and find out if it has failed. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.